The 2024 edition of KDEX in South Korea showcased a groundbreaking development in modern artillery systems, the Unmanned Amphibious Rocket Launcher. This next-generation multiple rocket launcher system, MRLS, is designed specifically for amphibious operations, offering advanced fire support capabilities during both maritime approach phases and post-landing scenarios. Its introduction marks a significant leap forward in amphibious warfare, combining mobility, versatility, and cutting-edge technology to enhance modern military operations. The unmanned amphibious rocket launcher is designed for deployment aboard large amphibious transport vessels, such as LPH-class ships, enabling forces to conduct fire support operations during maritime maneuvers. The system's unmanned and autonomous capabilities allow it to operate either independently or with a reduced crew, following an operational model similar to the highly successful K-9A3 self-propelled howitzer. This design helps address future challenges posed by the reduction of military personnel, while maintaining firepower and operational effectiveness. One of the system's standout features is its extended firing range, which exceeds that of the existing Chunmu Multiple Rocket Launcher System, MRLS. This capability is especially valuable for mutual firepower support between dispersed locations, such as the northwestern islands of South Korea, where the terrain poses unique challenges for military operations. The system's ability to conduct counter-battery fire during amphibious landings enhances its utility, providing crucial support in contested environments. A unique feature of the unmanned amphibious rocket launcher is its use of stabilization control technology, which ensures that the system can fire accurately and effectively, even from unstable maritime platforms. This innovation allows for precise strikes during amphibious assaults, significantly increasing the system's operational flexibility in complex and volatile environments. In terms of operability, the new system is designed to be fully compatible with existing Chunmu MRLS pods, meaning it can fire both traditional rockets and newly developed missiles. This versatility gives it a strategic edge in various operational scenarios, allowing military forces to adapt to changing battlefield conditions by using a wide range of munitions. The launcher is capable of providing comprehensive fire support across both land and sea-based operations, making it a critical asset for modern militaries engaged in amphibious warfare. Research and development are ongoing to further expand the system's capabilities. Between 2023 and 2026, efforts are focused on developing an electronic launchpad technology that will significantly increase the system's range and enhance the variety of missiles it can deploy. These innovations are expected to be fully operational by 2033, ensuring that the unmanned amphibious rocket launcher remains at the forefront of future fire support systems for amphibious and land-based operations. The development of this unmanned rocket launcher is aligned with broader trends in military modernization. The need for highly mobile, autonomous systems that can operate with reduced personnel is becoming increasingly important as military forces face evolving battlefield conditions including urban warfare, coastal defense, and remote island operations. The unmanned amphibious rocket launcher is expected to play a central role in the future modernization of military forces, not just in South Korea but also among international armed forces engaged in maritime and amphibious operations. Its ability to seamlessly integrate with existing artillery systems, combined with its extended range, precision, and autonomy, makes it a valuable addition to any military's arsenal. With the system expected to become operational by 2033, its development represents a forward-thinking approach to addressing the challenges posed by modern warfare. As forces worldwide continue to modernize, the unmanned amphibious rocket launcher is positioned to provide critical fire support in a wide range of scenarios, from amphibious assaults to counter-battery operations in coastal environments. In conclusion, the unveiling of this next-generation unmanned amphibious rocket launcher at KDEX 2024 highlights a significant shift towards autonomous, versatile, and highly mobile fire support systems. Its design innovations and extended capabilities offer a glimpse into the future of amphibious warfare, where advanced technology will play a crucial role in maintaining firepower, mobility, and precision on the battlefield. As development continues, this system is set to become a key player in future military operations ensuring armed forces remain well-equipped to meet the evolving demands of modern warfare.